All right, guys, uh, Fula coming to you with another video. This ain't going to be like a commentary, so to say, but I just really kind of sat back and examined some things and I reflected upon some things, okay? Like, I was like, damn, this is crazy, okay? I, I had to really like sit back and reflect and be like, yo, is this really happening? So, um, you know, how should I put this? We all know that women get wet over, um, that modern Western women, they get wet over Chad, Tyrone, Pookie, Ray Ray, and Miguel, you know? We know that by the default, like that gets them wet, that gets them turned on, okay? But the thing is, is that Chad, Pookie, Ray Ray, and Tyrone, and Miguel, they aren't your enemies, you know? They're not the enemies, but unfortunately, there's a more sinister enemy, you know, at hand in, in this like gender war. Okay. Now, believe it or not, you know, mo most of the time, not all the time, I'm not saying it like it, it happens all the time, but I'm saying most of the time. Okay. So. Usually Chad, Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone, Miguel, they really don't care about the next nigga. They're not worried about the ne what the next nigga is doing. What they're worried about is like their bottom line, they're focused on their thing, they're on their square, believe it or not. You know what I mean? For the most part, you know, Chad, Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone, um, it, that's what they do. You know, and here's the thing. I'm going to break down why they're not your enemy, but who is the real enemy? Okay. Who, who's the enemy along with uh, the Wicked Witch of the West? Okay. There's, it's sad to say it, but there's two enemies on two fronts. Okay. On the first front, it, on the on the first front, you have modern Western women, okay. Um, that enemy is easy, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. That enemy is pretty easy to conquer. The way you um, conquer that enemy is you kind of have to use the art of war with uh, Sun Tzu. Uh, basically, um, he, he basically, um, he, he basically, uh, um, laid that down. Okay. So, um, so what I'm going to say is that in, in regards to that, you have to do this when it comes to modern women, you know? Sun Tzu basically said, you know, and, and you know, uh, uh, okay, you know, Sun Tzu, I don't know because, you know, Allah said he sent 124 prophets, 124,000 prophets and messengers all across the world. You know, uh, the range wasn't limited. To the amount of like prophets, alay salatu salam, he sent, you know. Um, so he he sent them everywhere, right? And Sun Tzu, I'm not gonna say he's a prophet, but he had some otherworldly wisdom, you know. Um, basically. He said, I, I mean, well, let's, let's, let's talk about Nelato Alayhi Salatu Salam. First, let's talk about Nelato, okay? Because he was obviously the most intelligent man who walked this earth. Um, but, um, 
So Sun Tzu, right? Um, so basically, uh, the Prophet Muhammad, first and foremost, the Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam, said this about war, okay? It's unfortunate that I have to do this video, but it's a real war because of things like life experiences that I'm going through on a daily basis now, you know, um, with boxing, okay, with, with boxing and devoting time to that and also devoting time to my, um, my other activities like my business and stuff like that and things that I'm doing, you know, um, here's the thing. It is a war, you know, it's a war for ideas. It's a war for not being a bot. It's a war for a lot of things right now. And we have to like dissect this, okay? So give me a minute. Okay. Let me see what the Prophet Nailata Rabbi Salatu Salam said. Okay. So, there is a hadith which the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu salam said. Um, okay. I think what he said is... Um, I gotta find it real quick. Man, my bad is taking so long, you know. Just bear with me through this video, guys, please. Okay, so. The Prophet Muhammad, alayhi salatu salam, said, war is deception, okay? And this, what, what we need to realize is that in this gender war, you have to be deceptive with these women. But you also have to be deceptive with the other enemy that I have discovered, okay? And the other enemy is not Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad, or Tyrone. They really don't care. Like Pookie, Ray Ray, Chad, or Tyrone, they already got their share of um, women, you know? So they're not really tripping. But who is tripping is that... Um, the guys who aspire to be Chad, Pookie, Ray Ray, and Tyrone. But they just don't have it in them. And I discovered that I have about seven enemies of this type just today. There's like seven guys who I have learned are ops, you know? So the thing is about Chad, the, the, the wannabes, who want to aspire to, to, to them. Because here's the thing about me. I learned from, uh, from Pookie and Ray Ray, because you know, that, that if, I don't know if you've heard the Nipsey Hustle song called Summertime in that cut list, but what Nipsey Hustle said in that song was, was real life stuff that we were living. It says that, you know, um, um, you, but you live and you grow. That's the thing. I want, I want you to understand something about someone, anybody who's really been into some real life experiences and those real life experiences really like could have like basically shook the foundation they stand on and they could have like really led to maybe self-destruction but you grow from it and you live and you learn from it. Um, you know, Nipsey said in the song, and that's why I like his lyrics so much is because I relate to him very much. Um, he said, uh, you know, he, he said that, you know, we was living fast, we was rushing, niggas burnt and crashed on that dumb ish. And it was effing sad because we was puffed 
had to learn so fast to switch hustles. Um, and so he said, um, he said, and we was raised around hustlers, Rolex chains and case busting, super sports and box cutlass. That was Crenshaw Avenue for us, okay? We were raised around that. That's what we saw coming up. So, of course, we're going to learn from Pookie and Ray Ray. If we, we're see, seeing a million Pookie and Ray Ray's hustling where we come from, right? But what happens is that you grow out of that. And sometimes with Pookie and Ray Ray, you know, sometimes, uh, believe it or not, if Pookie and Ray Ray, for example, if Pookie and Ray Ray, and I know some Pookie and Ray Rays who have been shot or who have done the long bid, like they've done time in feds or they've done a lot of time, right? What happens is that they grow out of that and they mature and they're very quiet cats and you wouldn't, you wouldn't think, you, you wouldn't think that, um, you wouldn't think that they were into anything because of their quiet demeanor. And the thing is, is like being quiet and being the strong silent type is an Islamic thing that we have to uphold. It's a spiritual practice. And it's one thing that I uphold a lot of around, around where I'm, when I'm like out and about and doing my thing. I only talk if I have to, you know? I only talk when I have to. Uh, and so, to the Sun Tzu, to the Sun Tzu uh, situation, you know, basically, um, you know, when in this war, right? You have to do certain things. You have to make it look like, for example, you're you're incapable, but you're really capable. When you're like basically um, like when 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 you deal with people who that they're guided by anger. And things like that. And they're guided by their arrogance and their self-absorption, especially with modern women, right? They're like, they have the need to basically um, make it known that they have attention from multiple guys, but be the guy who doesn't give them that attention. But however, if you are the guy who doesn't give that them that attention, then what happens is you're going to become public enemy number one. Because this is what happened. I'm gonna tell you some. I'm gonna tell you a story that made me realize that I I didn't I I have many ops now. So in the boxing gym, you know that I go to. You know me and my coach. We work. We work on our things. We we build skill you know that's all i'm there for but word has gotten back to me that at least like maybe at least like four women that frequent that gym have told my coach that they think i'm attractive and they think i'm handsome my coach doesn't give a crap he knows i'm there to work he doesn't care However, other members of the gym got wind of this and now are trying to play a game where I'm already steps ahead of them in that game. The first thing I noticed is that one of them uh, just started like acting funny. I'm like, okay, you're an op. The second one tried to like tell me to like clean the gym. And I'm like, bro, like, who are you talking to? Like, I'm not cleaning the gym, bro. Like, I don't work here. I'm like, you clean the gym, fool. Like, I don't know who you talking to. And I'm like, if you want that work, we can go to the, uh, we can go in the ring right now. I don't care if you're bigger than me or not. You know? 
so there are and, and then also the mad dog you know they will stare you up and down okay the thing is when people cannot figure you out when you keep that stoic demeanor then you're going to be public enemy number one but the thing is you're protecting your energy by doing these things because the average guy who wants to be Pookie and Ray Ray they're going to try to talk to all the women they're going to try to impress these women they're going to try to like appear that they're tougher than they already then they they're going to try to appear to be tougher than really what they are they're going to try to like test you in different ways they're going to try to mad dog you in different ways because unknowing to them you've already been through the trenches uh, and seen all Pookie and Ray Ray's they haven't seen it you know they haven't seen it but they know that it's successful so they may go as far as to try to get tattoos like Pookie and Ray Ray and do all these things like Chad and Miguel however the woman senses it and sees through it right so what the women will do will use that will use the would be I, I'll call him the Pookie Ray Ray that could They'll use that for like validation They'll use that to stroke their ego They'll be like yeah I know this Yeah this nigga Yeah they're just gonna pump me up Gas me up and stuff like that They will do that right But The one who is stoic The one who is like the Khabib And I keep on telling y'all you need Y'all need to watch Khabib Megaminoff And how he dealt with these women that's the blueprint and I said it in previous videos okay understand something and I'm telling you this to protect for your protection as well the would be Pookie Ray Ray has more clout to want to get than the Pookie and Ray Ray the authentic one okay he will go through the end to flex his muscles, try to embarrass you, or even try to do worse just for the approval of the uh, modern woman. Because in general, it's sad to say it, but modern women are attracted to toxicity. You know, they're not attracted to um, like a dude who is solid, a traditional man. They're not attracted to that, okay? They're not attracted to it. They're attracted to Chad, Pookie, Ray Ray. That's fine. I don't give a crap. You know? What I am saying though is that be careful about the would be Chads, Pookies, and Ray Rays. Because unfortunately, they think with their head in between their legs more than their actual brain okay um so with, with this with this being said this is going to be your enemy okay this is going to be your enemy so what needs to be said too okay in this gender war and because now I realized that there's two dimensions to this gender war. You have the modern Western woman who is against the traditional male who likes polygamy, wants a submissive wife, wants a wife that will accept polygamy the right way, wants these things. That's one dimension. The other dimension is the people who would be Pookie and Ray Ray's, okay? Who are aspiring to do that because they see that that is the means of getting women okay now you may be tested by them okay the problem is with being quiet this is one of the problems the problem is about being quiet in manner mild manner okay there's two things number one People will think they can test you. And these would-be Pookie Ray Ray think they can test you. They may mad dog you. They may look at you funny. And stuff like that, right? 
That's the first point. Point number two. They may go as far as to try to gaslight you and get a response out of you because you don't show any emotion. You have your face ice cold poker face. And for some reason, they try to break you. Can't let them break you, but at the same time, you may have to, because here's the thing, yeah, I learned this. You may have to still be on your dash low, let a nigga try me type thing. Because that's what happens with these uh, with these guys. Because unfortunately the would-be Pookie and Ray Rays are, I guess you can say, wannabe hotheads. And so again, they try to earn their keep. Now, dudes who get the box, right? Dudes who get the box. They don't really have anything to prove because like chicks are throwing them the box like bondage, right? Um, but dudes who are trying to get to that level have things to prove and so they may do certain things and they may feel threatened by the quiet dude, the guy who doesn't say much, the guy who just observes. And I'm that guy, right? So they are going to be able, they're going to try to do things, you know, be prepared. And unfortunately, you may have to be prepared to maybe even get physical with them. Um, without incriminating myself, um, there was a would be Pookie Ray Ray who, you know, he unfortunately he wanted to impress a girl, you know, he wanted to like. I get, again, it was trying to impress and flex in front of a girl who was not even his girlfriend. Okay, the reason why this girl, he was so connected with this girl is because the girl just wanted validation, wanted validation, wanted validation, wanted validation, wanted validation. This girl said hi to me. So I just gave her a head nod, like a what's up? And I kept it moving. He took offense to that. And he said, oh, this nigga's lame. He said that to me. And I just said, like your mom, right? You know, sometimes you have to do things like that. So I said, like your mom for having you, right? So lo and behold, he comes charging at me. And you know, I just do what Floyd Mayweather did to Ricky Hatton, you know, sidestep sidestep check hook and he ran into a wall and you know let's just say that he let, let's just say that you know um his 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 speech is um very remarkable now so i say this to say that you can't repeat the tactics that have gained you in one victory in this war okay you have to have regulation and there may be different circumstances that you will find yourself in that you have to adjust to in this war. So I hate to say that it is a war, but it is, you know, because if it wasn't, then I wouldn't have to make this video about this. But it just dawned on me really just due to the life experiences I've had and recently had that Pookie and Ray Ray is not really the enemy and Chad and Miguel because as I said you know they're not worried about like other niggas you know what I mean but the real enemy is those who want to be them the Takashi 6 9 type guys those are the real enemies and so I say this to say that they it, the, how can I word this? The simp that will 
like try to step into a, the simp or the beta that will try to like step into a level that he's never been in before is going to be your worst enemy because most of the time he's sexually frustrated and an, another time too he feels like that th this is the only way he's going to um, succeed with women but with this being said we're living in a crazy place right now I hope this advice helps and just be aware man because it's war outside you know and we're and, and, and guys who push the traditional African manhood line like myself we're like we're unfortunately front lining right now with it you know but with that with that said fool is signing out leave your thoughts leave your comments and I'm on to the next one Inshallah.